Snow isn't the only neighborhood nuisance many residents want removed from a street in Brooklyn. They would like the city to jackhammer some newly installed traffic islands. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live in Borough Park with the story. Tony? Maurice, it's a story CBS 2 has been following here on Fort Hamilton Parkway, just two blocks from a major hospital. Residents say they're dealing with the tyranny of good intentions. Traffic islands like the one behind me intended to improve pedestrian safety now are seen as a threat by some, and today they demanded the city rip them out. For some, the traffic island provides a place of safety to pause while crossing the street. I think it's very really nice because you can cross it without any incident. Well, I've been in the middle and you feel a little protected. But for others, the islands are an obstacle, <laughs> causing traffic backups that delay fire trucks and ambulances heading to nearby Maimonides Medical Center. My friend's daughter needed to go to the hospital and the ambulance could not get through. This situation is an absolute disaster. It is endangering the lives of people. Thursday, Assemblyman Dove Hyken and Borough President Marty Markowitz didn't mince words. It's Meshiga. It's nuts. They joined a handful of local seniors to demand the city remove the traffic islands. In November, CBS2 aired video showing a fire truck struggling to turn onto Fort Hamilton Parkway past the concrete island and an ambulance forced to travel in the oncoming lane because of a backup at the traffic island. God forbid should a life, you know, not be able to be saved because of these islands. And I think we should take a deep breath and take some time to see how it's working. The Borough Park City Council member supported installing the islands. He says a few tweaks, such as no parking zones near them, are helping. Maybe there are a few more changes we can make to balance it best so it works for pedestrians, so it works for emergency vehicles. Back live where residents say some of the tweaking is causing additional trouble by eliminating parking spots. It's making it that much more difficult for merchants in the area. The city Department of Transportation says these pedestrian islands are a proven way to improve pedestrian safety here in a neighborhood where three seniors have been hit and killed crossing this street in the last four or five years. DOT giving every indication these traffic islands are here to stay. Live in Borough Park, Brooklyn, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tony.